Hello and welcome back to Ultimate General Civil War. Well, we are playing as the Union and we're doing decently, I think. It's not too bad, but let's get into the next battle. Let's get this show on the road, shall we? Alright, we got nine brigades in. Well, luckily I have eight, so... That should be doable. We have had, um... Worst luck so far. The attachments of Logan across the commands attack on a rebel force at Mill Springs. All right. Uh, our scouts have spotted rebel patrols in the woods heading towards your position. Guard the crosses and the rest of your detachment can join you. Okay, so we have three. Well, let's just kick you out and. Let's see. What do we have here? So these are my larger ones. I can get my skirmishes in there. Might not be a bad idea. Did I give them the better rifles? Sharps rifles, long range, 150. What do you guys actually have? You have the 350. So yeah, they have a longer range rifle. Um, either that, or we'll get the cannons in. I think actually the cannons might be a better idea, because the cannons tend to be very good at defensive uh, tasks, since, you know, the enemy actually has to advance on them, so... I don't think I can move them right now, which is a little bit annoying. No, okay, I can't. Never mind. I can. Let's see. Let's put you guys right here. Oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, so we've got the Lawrence Rifles guy here. This is another... This is our Harper's Rifle. This is Loomis. He's got even better shots. All right. We got the cannons, like, right in the field. Um, yeah, well, uh, let's do this. Uh, put defensive positions. If you guys just dig in, hold. Hold, these cannons don't have the best view, to be honest, so that's uh, sometimes a little bit difficult to see how the terrain goes. Um, this is a winter battle. Oh, God. Like, fighting summer is one thing, but fighting in winter is even worse. You know, freezing your balls off. Doesn't really seem like a fun thing to do. Like a fun afternoon. Let's freeze our balls off in winter. I gotta confess, as epic as this looks, doesn't really help. I get why you, why they went for this style. It's a lot easier on the artist, it's a lot easier on the engine that runs it and everything. I would have liked to see this more in Total War, but that's why the guy basically started. I believe this is originally made by the man who did the Darth mods for Total War. The rest of our units are approaching. Good. I want them immediately. So Fitzberg and our horses get over here, and we'll put our horses on the flanks. Let's put them on this flank, and we'll send our scoots, or skirmishes, right over there. Then we've got Nelson coming in. Hello, Nelson. You can take up the uh, front here. There we go. What else do we have? We've got skills, which can... Apparently we're getting flanked from there. Did not expect that. And skills is coming in there. Race, you can come in there. Definitely did not expect an attack from that angle, so we'll change. That's the worst charge I've seen in years. Cannons definitely don't have the right spot for that. We've got a couple of skirmishes there. We'll attack from here. I definitely did not expect that angle. Fitz, go here. Um, Nelson, go here. Skills, that's fine. It's fine. Our cavalry is crap. Alright, so they're attacking the woods here now. Okay, but can you guys open fire on that? Let's burk. You guys need to be get you know get, get a move on. Everything. Rhyme, stay behind. Loomis, can you engage the skirmishers? You can. Very nice. So these guys are routing. Uh, wouldn't mind if you guys actually st just stick stuck in there. Okay, you guys go here. You guys go here. You guys, where have you? want to put you. Oh crap, we've got stuff coming in from both sides. Fire just happened. I'm gonna need to move out of range though, so attack Gibson. Rover these cannons. Can I hit them? And Nelson, you might want to start running, because uh, some shit's happening. Oh god. Cavalry. Cavalry. Safe. Halt. I want you to open fire. Loomis is taking a lot of fucking damage, will be. 
Okay, so these guys can... Oh, this is like a bad nightmare. We engage from all sides at the same time. Hello, Grimes. You should have a slightly more fun time right now, just charging into the side of things. Oh, you've got the worst melee stats in history of melee stats, aren't you? Cannons are turning around, like in the fastest ever. Loomis, Nelson, Grimes, people are having fun, haven't they? You're yeah, surprised at you, Road. Loomis has the big guns, though, so we really, really want to keep him. Oh god, let's lost control over him. Um, okay. Cannons are now ranged in the correct side, though. Nelson, you can move up. Um, let's see, can I get you more slightly here? Then we can put Loomis, like, more here. And these skirmishes can stick with, stay where they are. Nope, you're not gonna advance that far up there. There we go. Ranging on that, and then you guys can go over here. Then the cavalry probably just completely retreated off. No, 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 they're still good here. Grimes, do your fucking job for once. My cavalry has been the most disappointing thing ever. Mimosa, can you, uh, me, can you move over here and boost Loomis's, um... There you go, Loomis is back, baby. These cannons can probably fire over here. They're reloading. They should have scatter. Uh, ordnance, or whatever you want to call it. Like, uh, canister shot, I believe it's called. Loomis, you can run, can't you? Okay, Nelson has regular muskets. Yeah, okay. Loomis has the big, good, awesome muskets, but he's gaining more morale, that's good. Got the snipering guys here. So how long do I need to defend? For about an hour, that should be fine. So you can attack Martin. And you guys can just cross, I think, if you run. So one more volley in there, get into the woods. These guys, they're not in a good spot. They have to turn like, every single time they want to fire. Holy shit, what the hell happened to you? You just turned like... Oh, big cavalry charge on the side. Okay. So Grimes actually is failing to kill Lindsay. Like, how useless are you, Grimes? Okay, routed that one. Yeah, no, no, that's gotta be blocked for long. So, set up there. Grimes is gonna be the, the guy that, you know, tries to keep Lindsay over her ass. Okay, you guys fire on him, you guys fire on there. Okay, so skills. You can fire the Stepsons. The Johnsons should be, like, easy game for these guys. They have... just muskets. Could you open fire, please? Skills is also using... Oh, Skills is actually using Lawrence rifles. That's a field charge if I've ever seen one. They're aiming. And... There we go, murdering the living crap out of them. Good. Woods is holding strong. Loomis can move up a little bit, I think. See if we can go into and charge into pond. You can get into some nice set up in the trees here. Hold. This is a good position. Hold. This is a good position. Okay. So far, so good. It's more of the problem. Okay, so the bigger problem we're currently having is not the size of our divisions, because the size of our divisions is pretty good. Because um, I think we've got that covered. Um, the more the problem I'm currently running into is just that I have less divisions, so they, they always have one just charging fully in your ass, which is not really beneficial. You can actually sit up a little bit closer, and I'm gonna ammo to get actually to my forces. Pittsburgh. Okay. Colonel Warren Walton is wounded. That is. Who now? Walton. I don't know who Walton is. Whatever. Okay, so get into the woods. Take it on a side position. Your Grimes, you can stick, stay here. Just stay in the woods. Just protect them. Okay, they're gonna charge. Bad move from him. But I can't really just... Okay, they routed. Nice, so, you know... Rifle fire made them retreat. Put these guys like right there. Gonna charge here. Well, that's definitely gonna go. Okay, we've got some scatter shots, canister shots in there. Okay, can you get an uh, eye on Martin? 
Oh my god, these guys are getting sandwiched from so many sides. Loomis, hold, 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 hold. I definitely don't want you to go and follow them. You know, that would be a bad idea. Get into line. You can attack Johnson. Martin is probably in a too way to good position, so why don't we just retreat slightly? I don't think they are in range. So we'll take that. This seems like a very good fight so far. This one was a lot easier than the previous one we did. Either that, or we just, you know, become kick-ass all of a sudden, but I highly doubt that will be the case. So, Fitzburg, you can go here. What happened to my cavalry? Grimes, probably chase off something. Get over here. So Pond uh, is going to try it again. Gibson is going to try it again. I kind of like where my uh, these sniperinos are with their weapons and everything. Yes, they got cannons. They got a lot of stuff, but it's not really that bad. The biggest problem I think we have right now is that our cannons are not useful due to the fact that the positioning is not ideal. However, they are scattershotting the uh, Martins pretty good. So they've got 100-something kills. They're actually pretty good. I think the kill death we're having so far is remarkably well. Just need half an hour. Woods is not doing too great, but they've got good cover. They're making a lot of kills. So I think Pawns need to charge, you know, to get shots on Pawns. We need to get shots on Gibson. You guys need to start flanking fire on that one. Too bad that the cannons, like Tyler, is too protected too much, so we cannot get Grimes like, to charge into the cannons, because Russell, Stewart, and Pond are just too close by. Open fire on Gibson, please. They are wavering. I think they are wavering. I think there is actually some cannons fire right there. Grimes, can you take a look for me? You guys can let slip slightly more in the forest's, uh, you know, cover. Yeah, there are cannons over there. Oh! Blank hat! Charge is still happening. Please charge into them before they can open fire. Yes, you're in melee range. Nice. Cannons are dying quickly. Grimes is making himself useful for once. Good god. I never thought I'd see today. There we go. Stuart. Oh god. Okay, the flank attacks was enough for them to finally break. But, you know, there is a lot of fire coming in here. Stevens. Can you get, can you, can you get a shot on Stevens? Okay, so Lindsay is now trying to prevent me from wiping out this tanking division. Or this cannon division. Tanks. Grimes, you can just keep on running. Keep on running, boy, and then circle back. Okay, there's a melee going in. Oh, just charge him. No, those cannons are not as useful anymore. Loom, you might want to stay here. Woods actually didn't retreat as far as I, uh, as I had feared, so... Can you guys just get a get... Get a bit closer on those skirmishes. I know it's not the most ideal position. Loomis. A little bit of flanking fire on Pond with Loomis. Uh, can I get you to just slightly shift like this? There we go. That seems like a nice flanking shot that we can get in here. Get these guys into the field. My cavalry just killed or is kicking Lindsay's ass. Nice! Grimes, you are getting shit done. That's probably because the guy's dead. Oh god, Pont, you're gonna take a side shot if I've ever seen one. Um, Grover actually took a couple of hits. That's too bad. Pont is not enjoying himself right now. That's nice. So we can get Loomis after he's fired. We're gonna move him forward. So they're aiming. Fire, please. There we go. Route. Getting closer. Right. You guys are done. Nice. You retreated the guys. So there's a cannon bat... I think there's a battery right around there, so... so these guys right here. Skills. You can move a little bit forward. We can actually get some proper fire into Martin. Okay, so... Every time I try to get closer, they retreat. So race, just dig in there. Skills. Keep the fire on Martin up. Loomis, you know, we actually are really fighting well here. I think this is a good victory. Look at it. Yeah, this is a full-blown victory. Finish it. That's fine. All right, we only had... Oh, wow, that's... So, let me just pick up a calculator for a second. Calculator, uh, that is... Five... No, that's... You know, four... Five, nine, four, divided by... 
one, two, nine, one. That's three and a half. That's pretty good, I have to confess. Plus we killed a couple of guns. We lost some more cavalry, but it's all right. Our cavalry isn't that good. Our goals got achieved. Our units did pretty well. Our officers, we got... So Grover died. That's bad. But we got two promoted uh, officers, which are our colonels. And we managed to capture some farmers' guns. Most equipment is pretty bad, actually, we managed to capture. So, you know, that sucks. But, well, you know, it's extra money. We can sell it. Got our extra career point, uh, which we can immediately got to dump into army organization. I believe it is army organization that I wanted. Uh, next level, it gets two cores, three divisions per core. Yes, four brigades per division. There we go. Apply. And the next one will get us 2,000 bridge brigade sizes. That's the one I want. Um, and that will be the end of that. So the second division needs a new guy. And let's go with the brigadier general. Apply him. And then Grimes managed to get himself offed. We'll uh, pick up uh, this guy. And he can actually run them. So and Grover. We need a, a major here. Very good. But he has less efficiency. So we need actually somebody better. We'll pick up Colonel for him. And uh, get him up back up to strength. So, let's see. Sharps did not have enough guns, so that's a problem. Uh, so I cannot reinforce as much as I want. There we go. That's about as high as I can get with equipment. Nelson! Can get up to 1500. There's Springfield, so yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. Alright, you got some skills. What do you have? You have morale and efficiency or stamina efficiency and speed. I like the fact that they're just a little bit faster, because they're slow movers in general. So you could then do the same, and Woods, you deserve the same upgrade. Very nice. Get some, uh, get them resupplied. There's 130 left. Okay, these guns have enough of them left. Um, Skills also need some Lawrence guns, and Race has... Alright, um, Nelson, you can get up to 750, but I actually want different equipment for you. Let's see what 500, that would be this. Let's get you up to here. And let's get you to 500. Apply, there we go. Alright, that means that these guys are now fully reinforced. That means the second core is going to be... Uh, you, not that useful. Um, can I just unequip you? Like, se like seriously, just not. No, I don't think I can. Okay, so I got a colonel in here. It's fine, but I need to create a new division. Create a new division. Yep, third division. And get some infantry brigades going. Let's see, uh, Loomis is Harpers. Let's get it and see if we can get some Harpers Furries for these guys. Okay, now that's too expensive. That's not, not a big surprise. Let's first sell what we've got, because we've got a lot of crap. And we can sell that, and we can sell that. we got some Hunters, want to keep those. Cavalries can sell those. we got some old Six Pounders we can sell. All right, what have we got now? Can I get, can I get Woods now, these proper Harpers? Yes, I can, very nice. And skills as Lawrence race has Lawrence guns because we actually have them. Okay, so you guys all got Springfields or Nelson at Springfield. All right, so infantry brigade doesn't cost anything because I already have the weapons. That's pretty good. So we need to pay a little bit because I don't have all the weapons. So we have a lot of divisions now. That's pretty good. Let's see. Infantry Brigade Artillery. Do we need more artillery? I actually don't have the money for anything else, so this is kind of where it ends. Um, but we're doing pretty good. So next one is Army Organization 4, which gives a slightly bigger course. I think that's the one I want to go for. Three divisions per core. No, this is actually... No, we're good on three. 2,000 is... F I don't think we can afford it. That's my problem. Um... Requires four points, gives you... Yeah, gives us more of an, an a guesstimation during battle. Mm, it's not really what I had in mind, but let's see. I guess this is going to be a fairly long fight, so I don't, I'm not going to do it this episode, but I will start it off with the next episode. Let's see what we got here. 
Uh, you won a decisive victory at the river crossing, disheartened the Confederacy, it was meant 10% enemy morale, plus we defeated the enemy to cross, so which reduces their army size. The reports. Uh, this is our army. Let's see. Army still estimates says the armies that oppose you. Casualties reduces in manpower, which is up. Well, training is the average number of uh, experience. Armory is the average quality. So they have fairly low quality. Intercept message warning. Okay, yeah. So they have. Wow, they actually have, don't have that much of an army. This is their total enemy army. We have 12,000 ourselves, I think. Anybody with average manpower? Yeah, I think that's it. That's it. But we're doing pretty good. I am fairly happy with where we're at. Um, yeah. Alright, with that, I'm actually going to end the video. I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. Have a very good day. Bye-bye.